I'm going to do an exercise called Charleston Force. This is a great exercise if you want to build your confidence playing categories that you normally would avoid, or if you like to play in tournaments, force hands so that you could maybe win a prize. A lot of times they have a prize for the first hand in every category on the card. So here I have a strip for every category on the card. We'll pick three and force hands in those categories. If you have a set at home, give this exercise a try and let me know if it helps your confidence. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Year. Consecutive run. Odds. We're going to make it happen. We'll say we're the dealer, so I'm going to get 14 tiles and set up a mock Charleston. Year, we do have a 2, 8, no white dragons or ones. Consecutive run, 7, 8, 8, 5, 6, 7. I think we should do six, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Now, here we have like numbers. I don't think I would do that. I would pick a hand. When you don't have safe discards with your remaining tiles after you've picked your category, that's when you pick a hand. So we're in the consecutive run category, building around multiples. We have seven, eight, maybe six, seven, eight, mixed suit. If we give up, the five, we could do five, two, four, and still have six, seven, six, seven, six, seven, eight, still have options. Let's go ahead and give up the five. We got a flower, and we're down to like numbers again. So we have seven, eight, eight, six, seven, eight. I think. Probably we should go ahead and pick the mixed suit Kong hand, leveraging these flowers. We could also maybe play six, seven, or actually seven, eight, seven, eight. So we can now pass one of each suit. Okay, five, nine, green. I try to not pass dragons. So if we have six, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, we could use an eight dot there or another six crack. Either way, we really don't need these. Now we could do five, six, seven, eight, but we'd have to throw away a pair of flowers. I think I'd stick with these. If you get a joker, just exchange it. And we have tiles we can pass here. We can mix that up a little and get rid of that seven crack. Yeah. Okay, four, five, one. Mix that up a little bit. We can pass those three. Exchange the joker. Red, I like to keep dragons if I can. Now this, that's a bit risky. I think I would break that up. We could maybe do seven, eight, green. Let's break this up with, let's break that up with a red. And I'm thinking past the five, nine, because that would fit the, the uh, odd category. If we did a three, nine, that would fit either three, six, nine or odds. So I think a five, nine would be better. Okay, here we have a six. We could maybe even do six, seven, eight with the dragon that matches. We have three tiles to pass, so we really don't have to pick a hand yet. I think I would go ahead and pass these three.
we have a seven, six, seven, seven, eight, eight. We could even keep the six and the five and play five, six, seven, eight. I think I would probably discard the one. There are a number of hands we could play under consecutive run. We could play the knitted hand and use these as joker bait. So we could play six, seven, eight with dragons. There's six tiles there. We could play seven, eight with flowers. So that would mean eight tiles, which is better. There's a gap though. We could also do six, seven, eight, that would be two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I think I would probably keep these for the knitted hand, which is the second from the bottom, and discard those first. That way we could leverage the multiples. So I think consecutive run was clearly the way to go there. If you would have done something differently, write it in the comment section and we'll go on to the next one where we need to do either the year or odds. Okay, I think I would probably try a year hand here, primarily because we have a white dragon. We do happen to have some year tiles. I would use these as joker bait. So if we force a year category, I think it's gonna be the best start. The other option would be to force odds and we only have one, two, three, and they are all far from each other in different suits. So I think this is gonna be the best way to go. So let's pass, let's go ahead and break this up already and pass those three right here. East, that's not helpful. For the year, we need singles. If we're forcing a hand, we gotta make it happen. Okay, so let's go ahead and pass up maybe, I like to try to arrange a second pass. So this is not bad. If we did that, that would be pretty risky. And these three, not too bad. Let's see what happens. Oh, we got a flower. Okay, that might help maybe. So now we have tiles to pass. We're looking for year tiles here. Exchange. We got a pair of sixes and an eight. Maybe we could play the big year hand, although that would not be in the year category. The big year hand, the pair hand, would be in the pair singles and pairs category, so don't get distracted by that. We need to focus on 2018, in which case we really don't need these. So let's break up the pairs and pass those three. There's a tile. And when you're gathering, it doesn't matter what it is, what suit it is, which tile it is, just gather every year tile, which are twos, eights, ones, whites, winds, flowers. Gather them all, no matter the suit or the number. And then when you run out of discards, that's when you can pick a hand. So we're gonna discard these. We got a west, and we have tiles we can pass. Let's pass those three. We got a flower. Here's a red. Okay, now we have two tiles to pass. This is when you pick a hand. 
I think these could be joker bait. East, west, we don't need a red. I would even stop right there. I would just stop there, hold all these tiles here, pass these. Oh, look at that, joker bait. Okay, so here's what we have now. Year category. We could play 2018 right here. Oops. So we could play the wind news 2018. We need a north and a south. We need two dots, that's a gap. So I would probably place this on a lower priority. Maybe instead we could play the second hand down 2018 we still got a gap and then we could use the two or the eight for the kongs these would have to go away at that point either way we have joker bait and probably uh one two three three four probably four or five discards another option would be to play no flowers two zero one eight this would be a crack that's pretty bad though i think what i would probably try to force is the news hand or the flower hand the third one down i think i'd probably discard these first hold this for joker bait and focus on either the news year hand or the flower 2018. We'd have to get rid of this, of course. I think probably we're in between. So I would say year category, that was a bit rough. I don't know if this would be a winner, but we had hardly any odds. Let's hope for odds for this next force. If you would have done something differently for Force 2, write that in the comment section. Okay, we need to play odds. Nice jokers there. Okay, flowers. So under odds, we have three options with flowers. Little odds, one, three, five, or five, seven, nine, big odds. Let's just pull all the odds together. Maybe the dragon, we don't have dots with little odds, so I don't know if that's going to come in. Either way, we've got tiles we can pass. So we're playing odds. We got threes. I'm thinking little odds. We just got white dragons. We only have one dot, though. If we play little odds... Let's hold one, three, five. Either way, we can still hold all the one, three, five. Let's throw these three. No keepers there. One, three, five. We could even play something knitted here. One, three, five, white. This would be the fourth hand down. Or we could do one, three, five with flowers. We really don't need the five BAM in any of those instances. No keepers. Let's break it up a little bit and pass these three. A red. Oh, that's nice. Maybe we could play the one, three, five dragon, this concealed one. Okay, we could still maybe play the knitted one. That's pretty risky. I think I would give up on the knitted 25 pointer. 
Let's focus on the concealed one. Flower. We don't need four flowers or three flowers. We do have tiles we can pass though. Exchange. We don't need any of these. We're focused on 135 with the dragon there. Optional cross. So we have discards. Discards with Joker bait. I think I would probably focus on 135 with the dragons, the last one, which is the concealed one and hold these as long as possible for joker bait discard these first so that would be one three five seven nine be sure to write in the comment section force one two or three if you would have done anything differently there i think maybe the first one might have been a winner the other two questionable if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel consider subscribing click the bell if you do that way you'll get notification for when i post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next charleston force for american style using national mahjong league rules may all your picks be keepers